Good things come in small packages, and that's certainly true with the Boston Terrier. This playful pooch is handsome, intelligent, athletic, and loving. Now, this is exactly why these fun pups could be a great choice for you if you want a cheerful and energetic companion. From their expressive eyes to their boundless energy, it's pretty hard to ignore these American gentlemen if they're around you. No wonder the breed consistently ranks as one of the most popular dogs in the United States, according to the American Kennel Club. But wait! What is so special about these small, sturdy terriers and what makes them different from other terrier breeds? Well, let's find out. Number 1. The first dog breed developed in the United States. Some dog breeds are so ancient that their exact origins are lost to history, but not the Boston Terrier. During the 1870s, fanciers in Boston, Massachusetts began breeding a strongly built dog with a blocky head developed from a cross between an English Bulldog and the White English Terrier, which no longer exists today. Originally, the dogs were known as Roundheads, but in 1891, they were renamed Boston Terriers to reflect the breed's birthplace. Two years later, to the delight of the breed's supporters, the AKC officially recognized the Boston Terrier. The Boston was one of the first American breeds to be recognized by the AKC in the year 1897. During the next century, through careful selection of breeding stock, dedicated fanciers methodically worked to bring out the pleasing features seen in today's Boston Terriers like compact body, distinctive coat markings, and expressive dark eyes. Number 2. Eye Disease the most common eye disease in Boston's is painful corneal ulcers, frequently caused by either trauma or an irritating substance entering the eye. Other problems, however, like cataracts and glaucoma, are inherited, so if you decide to purchase a puppy instead of adopting one, seek out a conscientious breeder committed to producing healthy litters. Responsible Boston breeders make sure a veterinary ophthalmologist tests the mother's and the father's eyes before mating them to verify that they are disease-free. This greatly reduces the risk of inherited eye disorders from being passed down to the pups. Once the litter is born, the puppies should also be tested for any troubling eye defects and diseases such as juvenile cataracts, which can decimate a young dog's sight before his first birthday. Number 3. A Haggerty Dot A circle of a dark hair on top of the Boston's head, smack dab in the middle, is known as a Haggerty Dot. Dogs with this special marking are descendants of one of the original lines of Boston Terriers owned by the Haggerty family in the early 1900s, according to the Boston Terrier Club of America. Highly respected Boston Terrier breeder and judge Vincent Perry called this mark the kiss of God and consider it a lovely addition to the dog's perfect markings. Number 4. Respiratory Problems Many Boston Terriers live a good long life. Unfortunately, breeders deliberately breed these dogs to be deformed with a short face and domed head. As such, they suffer more than their share of health problems, not only with their breathing, but also eye diseases, epilepsy, cancer, joint diseases, heart disease, and more. Short-nosed dogs like Boston Terriers can't cool their air going into their lungs as efficiently as longer-nosed breeds and they're much more susceptible to heat stress. Because of their short coat, they can't stand extremely cold weather either. Even in temperate climates, the Boston Terrier should be kept indoors. Because Boston Terriers can have respiratory problems, avoid pulling your dog's collar to get him to go what you want. Number 5. Man's Best Friend Bostons might be small in stature, but they're big on being best friends. For more than 100 years, they've been bred to enjoy the company of people, making them ideal for animal-assisted work where their sole job is to put a smile on patients' faces in nursing homes, hospitals, and other healthcare facilities. A handful of national organizations, including Therapy Dogs International and Bright and Beautiful Therapy Dogs, help train and register dog handler teams as well as oversee volunteer programs throughout the country. Today, more than 10,000 registered pet partners team operate in all 50 states and other countries including Canada, Italy and Japan. Number 6. They Snore Yep, Boston Terriers have short muzzles, which is the root of their snoring. Their short muzzles cause their breathing to be obstructed, which results in snoring. Well, loud snoring. Some owners happen to find it endearing when their Boston Terrier snores, but a lot of others find this habit very frustrating, so you should definitely take this into consideration before getting a Boston. 
Boston's may also be prone to reverse sneeze, a rapid and repeated forced inhalation through the nose, accompanied by snorting or gazing sounds used to clear the palate of mucus, which, however, does not harm the dog in any way. Number 7. A Sporty Dog Boston Terriers are very individualistic. Some are high-spirited and clownish, while some are calm and dignified, even placid. Some are stubborn characters, while others are sweet and gentle. But in general, the Boston Terrier is an altogether dapper and charming little dog. The brainy Boston Terrier is able to hold his own in the highly competitive world of canine sports. Their innate desire to please people is a big part of the breed's ability to quickly learn and excel in a variety of performance events. Playing games and chasing balls are typically two of their passions. Number 8. Unstable Temperament Boston Terriers are not delicate little lap dogs by any means. They are small, sturdy, and are generally good-natured with other people and animals. Bostons are energetic dogs that love to play and chase things. If you get your dog from a good breeder, this should not be an issue. Unfortunately, many breeders don't have the slightest idea how to breed a good-tempered dog. Dog trainers have reported Bostons that have neurotic behavior such as barking, hyperactivity, and aggression. So what's the solution? Well, training is the key solution, so you will need to train your Boston for its unstable temperament. Number 9. The State Dog of Massachusetts Not every state in the US has an official dog. Perhaps that's because only a few recognized breeds were developed in America. As the first state to claim itself as the birthplace of an original breed, it's no wonder Massachusetts named the Boston Terrier its official state dog in the year 1979. Although Boston Terriers are small, they're sturdy and muscular. They have a sleek, shiny straight coat with crisp white markings and a pattern that resembles a tuxedo, which is a part of the reason why they gained the name American Gentleman. Number 10. Very intelligent and lovable. The Boston Terrier may have been bred to be a ferocious pit fighter, but you'd never know it today. The little American gentleman, as he was called in the 19th century, is definitely a lover, not a fighter. Although males have been known to show their terrier ancestry when they feel their territory is being invaded by another dog. Boston Terriers are known for being very intelligent, sometimes too much so. Their lively, affectionate nature makes them extremely lovable, though their sometimes stubborn nature or spurts of hyperactivity can land them in the hot water with their owners. Any angst about their behavior, however, soon melts when they look up at you with those huge round eyes that seem to say, I love you. Well, that's it for the video, guys. But we want to know if you're planning to get a Boston soon or maybe you already have one. What are your thoughts about these American gentlemen? We'd definitely love to hear them out in the comments below. 